Hi everyone. Thank you for joining Parkinson Voice Project for today's online Speak Out Home practice session. My name is Samantha Allendary. I'm a speech language pathologist and the founder of Parkinson Voice Project. We are here to help you to regain and retain your speech and your swallowing skills with Parkinson's. So a very part, a very important part of doing this is doing vocal exercises every day. And that's why I'm here to help you. Today is a session inspired by Beatrice from Pittsburgh. She said, why don't we do a session on our favorite children's books? And I love it. I love children's books, by the way. Before we had our Speak Out workbook that now we ship out all over the U.S. and we have it in our e-library. If you're going through the Speak Out program, you should have one of our workbooks. But before we made up the content of the Speak out workbook we use children's books a lot not because they're simple or anything like that but because when you do your reading exercises we want you focused on speaking out we don't want you to be too enthralled in what you're reading and that is why we use children's books so if you are really trying to get your voice stronger I recommend children's books. Um, this is an image of one. Um, what If you can't read the words, because maybe they're too small, but look at this hen. Which children's book do you think this is the cover for? The Little Red Hen. Let's say that with intent. The Little Red Hen. So today is all about our favorite children's storybooks. Let's all take a sip of water with intent. We'll do the other exercises first. Before we get to our favorite children's storybooks, by the way, go ahead and chat and tell us what your favorite storybook is. The first speak out exercise is the warm up. Lift your voice and speak out across the room. Ready? May me my mo moo. Don't trail off. Let's do it again. May me my mo moo. Again. May me. that I needed to take a breath in there and that's okay. Don't think about the breath. Let's do it again. May me my mo Only think about projecting the voice forward one more time. May me my mo Good job. Take a sip of water. If you did not practice with us earlier in the week, you might not realize that we are trying out 20 minute practice sessions. And after you have participated in a few of these 20 minute sessions, I would love to get some feedback from you. Um, when you send feedback, send it to intent at Parkinson Voice Project. Dot org. Our goal of trying out these 20 minute sessions is to get more people practicing. I received an email yesterday from someone who said, I'm involved in a choir, in pickleball, I go to boxing, I have my doctor's appointments. She said, I really appreciate the 20 minute sessions, but I do want to make sure that we have enough time for the education piece. So that was really good feedback for me. So after you participate in a couple 20-minute sessions, send me some feedback. Let me know what you like about it, what you don't like about it. If you're concerned about anything, let me know. The second speak out exercise is the ah. Deliberately open your mouth and speak out. Here we go. Ah. Uh, good. 
Let's do it again. Ah, uh, we want that ah uh, flying forward. Let's do it again. Let's try a shorter one. Don't worry if you can't hold the ah uh for 10 seconds at that intensity level. It's okay. Let's do a shorter one. Ready? Ah. Uh, again. Let's all take a sip of water. We're working hard on a scale of 1 to 10. I want you at an 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. We're strengthening the speech and swallowing muscles. The third speak out exercise is the glide. Project a steady ah. First, okay, steady off first and then glide. You'll be using more intent if you do that. Ready? Ah. Ah. Good. Try to get as many notes in there as you can. Glide with intent. Ready? Uh, stop. Close your mouth. Uh, good. Nice and steady. Let's do it again. Be deliberate. Uh, uh, keep the mouth open all the way to the end and keep the sound strong. If your voice sounds scratchy or raspy, Try to project out a little bit more. If it still doesn't clear up, please talk to your speak out provider. Let's do this again. Uh, One more time. Let's make this one the best one. Speak out. Ready? Uh, uh, I really need some water. Let's get some water with intent. Think about it. Concentrate when you swallow. We have done the warm-ups, the ahs, the glides. We are moving on to the counting. It's amazing how just counting to 20 is 20 is so much more challenging than just counting to 12. It requires much greater breath support for speech. So do the best you can. Take a breath when you need to. Don't think about the breath. Just think about projecting your voice forward. Ready? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, four. 
14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Let's go backwards. 20, 19, 18, 17, 16. 15, 14, 13, 12, 11, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We're going to do it one more time, but let's take a sip of water. Plenty of sips of water when you're doing these exercises. If you're new to these exercises, I am sipping on warm water, not coffee. <laughs> I will say I do reward myself after doing these sessions. I go grab a cup of coffee. That's my, that's my reward. And it's good to use this type of reward system for yourself to motivate you. You know, maybe after you do your physical exercise and your speech exercise, you reward yourself with something. Why not? Let's do this one more time. One, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty. Good job. All right, we're going to move on to the reading. And thank you for, to Beatrice for recommending this topic, our favorite children's stories. Look at all of these covers. Do you see your favorite um, children's storybook here? Yes or no with intent? Go ahead and chat and tell us what your favorite book is. As a child, I loved, love, love Charlotte's Web. All right, let's read these with intent. We're building strength and endurance. Ready? Some classic story books are Curious George and Madeline. Again, some classic story books are Curious George and Madeline. Are you saying every word with intent? Next. Dr. Seuss wrote green eggs and ham. Stretch out the word ham. Let's read the sentence again. Dr. Seuss wrote green eggs and ham. Next. P.D. Eastman wrote big dog, little dog. Are you projecting your voice forward? Are you saying every word with intent? Let's read the top sentence again. P.D. Eastman wrote, Big Dog, Little Dog. Next. A newer favorite book is If You Give a Mouse a Cookie. Again. A newer favorite book is if you give a mouse a cookie. Ready? There is also how to babysit a grandma. That's a great one for me this week, right? Again, there is also how to babysit a grandma. And some other new books are The Wonky Donkey, and pinkalicious. When you said pinkalicious, did you get it all the way to the end? Everybody say pinkalicious and project forward. Ready? Pinkalicious. Again. P 
pinkalicious. Don't let it trail off. Let's read that sentence again. Some other new books are The Wonky Donkey and Pinkalicious. Very good. Go ahead and take a sip of water before we move on to the cognitive. We're going to describe the covers of these books. Here, I'll go full screen so you can see the full cover. Describe this image with intent. Be sure to say every single word with intent. Think about it. Go ahead. So you might say there is a big brown bear chasing after what looks like a gingerbread cookie. We see a fox in the background and maybe a farmer running after the bear. So you would describe it. Describe it with intent. Go ahead. Describe this picture. When you describe, give as much detail as you can, the colors, what you see, describe this image with intent. We're moving on to Dr. Boone's words. Exaggerate these sounds, especially the G the K and the NG. We need the back of the tongue to move better. So exaggerate the sounds. Ready? Goo-la-gung-ga-ga. And the next one. Koo-ka-mung-goo-ka. Koo-ka-mung-goo-ka. Ready? Gung-la. Gung-la. And the last one. Koo-kla. Koo-kla. Good job. Take a sip of water. We're going to move on to the bonus reading. And there's the bell. Swallow with intent. We're going to read just a little bit, just a paragraph of the story of Ferdinand. All right, now from 1936. Let's read with intent. The bonus reading is about building strength and endurance because we go from one sentence to the next without stopping. Doesn't mean you hold your breath or anything. You take a breath when you need to, but you read with intent. Here we go. Once upon a time in Spain, there was a little bull and his name was Ferdinand. All the other little bulls he lived with would run and jump and butt their heads together, but not Ferdinand. Now you saw what the words are. Now I want you to read it even better. Ready? Once upon a time in Spain, there was a little bull and his name was Ferdinand. All the other bulls he lived with would run and jump and butt their heads together, but not Ferdinand. When you work on building strength and endurance, I like to read a paragraph three times. Good, better, best. I want you to make this one your best one. I want you to read it with a lot of enthusiasm, and I want you to make sure you're stretching out those highlighted words. Ready? Once upon a time in Spain, there was a little bull, and his name was Ferdinand. All the other little bulls he lived with would run and jump and butt their heads together but not Ferdinand. 
reading paragraphs three times is a great way to build endurance and to be really mindful of using intent. Thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day and that you use intent in everything you do. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.